Hello friends, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In today's video demonstration, we're going to see the steps to create dynamically expanding virtual hard disk in Hyper-V 2016. In the last video demonstration, we see the steps to create and manage fixed size VHD in Hyper-V 2016. The second type of VHD available for selection in Hyper-V 2016 is the dynamically expanding virtual disk. Dynamically expanding disk start out with a small footprint, typically only a few kilobytes, and dynamically grows up to the size specified during the creation. Upon creation, the VHD had a footer allocation table information like the name, location, maximum size, etc. of the disk is written inside that VHD. As data are written into dynamic VHD, the total size of the VHD will grow accordingly. At any given time, a dynamically expanding VHD is with a size of the actual data written to it and the housekeeping information. Remember, upon deleting data from a dynamic VHD, the space of those deleted data is not reclaimed till an added disk or compact operation is performed on that VHD. A dynamically expanding VHD is recommended for a development and testing since relatively small footprint to manage. To create a dynamically expanding VHD, we will be using Hyper-V Manager. Follow the same steps as you would to create a fixed size VHD except selecting dynamically expanding for the disk type at choose disk type console. So for that, you have to open Hyper-V Manager console and on a Hyper-V Manager console, on a action pane on a right hand side, click on new and then select hard disk. On before you begin console, you just have to click on next button. Now here we have to select disk format. Now for this demonstration, we are going to select VHDX. Let's click on next. Now here we have options to select disk type. Now for this demonstration, we are creating dynamically expanding VHD. That's why we will select the default options dynamically expanding. Let's click on next. Now here you have to specify the name and location of this virtual disk. Let's specify the name dynvdisk2.vhdx. DYN stands for dynamically expanding. Now the location will be on a e drive, up of VM VDisk. Select the folder and click on next. Now we have a total three options on this console. If you want to create a new blank virtual hard disk, that time you have to select the first box. If you want to copy the content of a specific physical disk, that time you have to select the second box. If you want to copy the content of specific VHD, that time you have to select the third box. But for this video demonstration, we are going to create a new blank virtual hard disk. That's why I am going to select the first box. Now here you can specify the size. Now the by default size is 127 GB. If you select VHDX format, that time the maximum available space that you can specify here is 64 terabyte. But we are going with 127 GB. Let's click on next. And now let's click on finish to create dynamically expanding virtual hard disk on Hyper-V 2016. After the VHD has been created, it can be attached to a local or physical machine using the disk management snap-in or it can be added to a VM using the virtual machine settings dialog box. Now let's open file explorer first. Let's open e drive, Hyper-V folder and VM to VDisk. Now as you can see, in a previous video, we created fixed size VDisk and the size is 5 GB. In this video, we created dynamically expanding virtual hard disk. But as you can see, we specify 127 GB size at the time of creation. But right now, size is only 4 MB. As you add data into this dynamically expanding virtual disk, the size of this VDisk will increment. So this is the way how we can create dynamically expanding virtual hard disk in Hyper-V 2016. Thank you all for watching this video.